Time for Footitis. Sponsored by BoatBuys.ca. 10,000 boats online. Looking for that dream boat in the used market can take you through the usual suspects. And of course there are benefits to buying one of these, including availability of parts and dealers. But taking a risk on an international boat can prove to be quite rewarding. And that's the case with today's Footitis subject, a 2003 Sea Line F42-5. For almost 40 years now, Sea Line boats have been the pinnacle of design and innovation. Built in England, they have 11 models ranging from 35 to 60 feet and express cruisers, fly bridges, and luxury yachts. Purchased by Brunswick in 2001, Sea Line is a close comparison to Meridian Yachts, which was actually established the following year. The F42 like this one here is sandwiched in their Flybridge series between a 35 and a 46 footer. In fact, Motorboating Magazine once called it one of the most innovative boats on the water. As we take a closer look, you'll soon see why. Combining functionality and style, the F42-5 is built for entertaining from tip to tail, and this cockpit is a prime example of it. In 2001, Sea Line chose the F42-5 to introduce their extending cockpit system. With the flick of a switch here, the cockpit settee slides back, extending your entertainment space by an extra three feet. And in that cockpit space, you'll find convenient features hidden smartly away. Along with the passerelle, a feature common on European boats. It's great for launching a tender or for the kids to have some fun. Moving into the salon here, we're immediately surrounded by warmth and elegance. The teak theme from the deck carries throughout the rest of the boat. That, along with the tan upholstery that I'm personally a huge fan of, and the bright and airy windows makes for a very inviting living space. The lower helm isn't for everyone, but it blends in with the rest of the interior nicely, and the table in the salon expands and rises to take place of the missing dinette. The galley is fully functional with a dual sink, electric stove, plenty of storage and a convection oven. One thing is lacking, however, is a full-size fridge. The aft stateroom has two singles that convert to a queen, as well as an ensuite head with built-in shower. The master has a queen island berth that's well lit, and the master head has a separate shower. Heading up to the bridge is a breeze thanks to the molded in steps here. And once you're up here, you see you pretty much have a whole extra living space. Now the helm itself has a full Raymarine electronics package, so you won't need to worry about that in an offer to purchase. And also, when you've reached your destination, the helm seat swivels so the captain gets to join the party as well. Power for this 42-footer is in the form of twin Cummins diesels that can be easily accessed through removable panels in the salon floor or through the bilge. They also had no problem getting the sea line up on plane and it topped out at over 40 knots. While on plane, it's hard not to marvel at the sight of this big flybridge yacht barreling down the bay. She's well mannered at slow speeds and the bow thrusters make close quarter maneuvering a cinch. With its combination of power, accommodations, and amenities, this 2003 Sea Line would be an ideal buy for any boater looking to embark on the Great Loop. You know, off the top, I referred to buying an international boat as a risk due to the limited dealer network, but really buying any used boat can be a risk every time you roll the dice between Dream Boat and Lemon. So as you're shopping the used market, I encourage you to dig a little deeper and look for your own diamond in the rough, like this Sea Line here.